Thank you, Megan. More and more women are choosing to continue to work after having a baby, but find it hard to keep a foothold in both the corporate rule world and at home. A local author and business owner is doing it, and she has some advice in tonight's cover story. Here's CBS 42's Elizabeth Danheim. Karen Steed Terry knows what it's like to balance both a career Hi, sweetie. Some more cookies. Okay. and her family. <laughs> She's doing it. But the difference between her and some other women is Karen's flexible schedule. I teach in a very specialized field, geographic information systems. When Karen moved to Austin, she decided, as she tried to start a family, to not go back into the corporate world. Instead, she became an independent consultant and software instructor. Once my daughter was born, um, I could um, schedule things around her schedule. I taught and I had a, a babysitter that I used on the days that I taught. After Instead her classes, me, women would approach Karen and ask her how she so managed a career and a child at the same the time. This led her to write a book called Full-Time Woman, Part-Time Career. A lot of women um, get pregnant and then they say, I want to do something flexible. What I counsel is for women to do something flexible before they get pregnant. Karen says find a way to stay in your career field and use your existing skills to build your own business. Some words of advice for making this happen. Number one, says Karen, have the desire and motivation. If you don't have the motivation, it's never going to happen. Number two, research certifications in your field. I have two certifications in my field teaching software. The certifications replace your corporate identity and give you credibility. And number three, sell yourself. You can set up a blog and a website and get an online presence. And the, the key is whatever you do is to increase your visibility. It's hard work, says Karen, but definitely worth it. I had her home with me most of the time as an infant and I can't, those are irreplaceable years and I, th that is so valuable. It's about balance, finding time for your kids and for a job you love to do. In Cedar Park, Elizabeth Danheim, CBS 42 News. Karen's book contains case studies of real women who've made the switch from working in the corporate world to working for themselves. For more information on her book, just go to KITV.com, click on Featured Links.